Victor Martinez here, about to give you my shoulder workout. Let's get started. I want to start with the rotator cuff warm up. Again, very important, especially when you're going to move tons of weight. You're going to go into a right angle position, which is here and also here. Usually about 20 to 25 reps each one, and I do about three rounds. This is not a heavy weight movement. I know you guys want to get, go straight for the kill. Be patient. Warm up only takes about five, less than 10 minutes. Again, because you don't really rest. You continue through it, and you start noticing deep, deep inside that burn. That burn is warming up that little tiny connective tissue in the rotator cuff. Now to the side. You pull it as far away as you can without really moving your elbow. First exercises I do uh, for shoulders. Again, one of them working on the outer caps and also pressing. I do the Arnold presses as it works the front, side delts, and then I do a giant set following up with the uh, side laterals. I like combining the first exercise before I go into heavy shoulder presses. It's a rotating exercise. It's right here, right angle. The only trick to it is as you're pressing, forward, you invert it, press upward. Sit. You don't want to go any lower. If you go any lower than this, rotator cuff. You want to keep all the pressure, the front delts, side delts. Laterals again, controlled. Sitting down gives you less abilities to cheat. Bounce back, use your legs, lower back. You stand up and do more weight. The only problem is you use your body as leverage by bending your legs and using your lower back. First set, usually 15 reps. Already warmed up, got a great pump. Again, rotator cuff. Warm up there, help me. good on that lateral. It's a good weight. We just make it a drop set. Second exercise, which is the uh, machine press. This, again, will emulate a dumbbell press. Don't want to worry about, again, I always mention worrying about balance or anything like that. I just want to press. I want to press heavy. Um, when I go heavier, I don't combine exercise. I do straight sets um, just to work on that, building that mass. Uh, 
I like to focus on the movement through and through. Point A, point B, controlled. And uh, I think we could go up a little bit more. Too high or too low, you know. When I have it direct, where it actually goes from here down to where your hands are placed, so it could be direct hit on your rear delts and on the extension and the flexion of the exercise. I know a lot of people are very flexible. They tend to overextend to a point where it hits the traps. Main focus of this is the rear delt. So let's try to stop at a point where the real delts are activated and release in a controlled manner. pull down, I combine it as part of my rear delt movement without sitting down, elbows up, again, as high as I can to target the rear delts. No, this is right to my upper pec, upper clavicle. exercise with the rope to the top uh, I like this again because when you do the rope you tend to hit a little too much traps so I do it wide again just hitting rear delts slightly on the traps not as much as the rope would okay we're gonna finish the, the shoulder workout with some shrugs do shrugs a little bit different. I like combining chins up, chin down, usually about 10 reps each. The reason for that is you have the upper and rear traps. So I don't like to neglect one or the other. I do both. So when I do uh, chin up, it's just straight up. When I do chin down, I raise my elbows. Again, just to hit the upper and rear traps. <sighs> watching, subscribe below. <laughs>